Hello there and welcome to the Golf Club 2019. My name's John and I'm gonna try to get you going here, show you how to swing that club like a pro. Let's get into it. To begin your swing, pull back on the swing stick. When your golfer reaches the top of their backswing, push the stick forward to swing. Nicely done, and we're moving on. After each shot, you will get feedback as to how accurate your shot was in the bottom right-hand corner. In the middle of that circle, there's a blue swing plane. In order to be accurate with your shot, you're gonna have to keep your swing within the lane. Let's give this another go. Have another swing and try to keep that swing within that swing plane. Great work out there, that was fantastic. Let's keep moving. You will also receive feedback on your swing tempo just underneath your swing accuracy indicator. Now, if you are too swift or too sluggish on your backswing or follow through, your shot could lose power, it could get some wonky spin, or it could go further off target. Now let's try swinging with a smooth motion to achieve the perfect tempo. Nice work out there, let's move on. Okay, well I think that's the minimum uh, amount of stuff you need to get started. If you'd like more challenge or distance from your shots, try changing your clubs in the profile menu. And be sure to test out your equipment first on the driving range. And if you're looking for more advanced shot techniques, go ahead and check out the other lessons that are available in our training menu. Okay, see you next time. Welcome to the putting lesson. We are going to learn the ins and outs of putting here today so you can gain strokes where it matters most. You know what they say, drive for show, putt for dough, folks. Let's go. Now, to begin your putt, pull back on the swing stick. The farther you pull back, the stronger your putt will be. When you feel you've got the power right, push the stick forward to putt. Now, let's try sinking this 10-footer. Hmm, not, not quite there, is it? Let's try again. Hmm, that uh, should probably be tried again. Nicely done. Let's move on. Now, getting your putt strength just right comes down to feel at the end of the day, and each green can feel different. You can keep an eye on your putter's max distance in the top right to get an idea of what the current green speed is. This putt is just a few inches downhill, so use your aim stick to move the putting marker just in front of the hole, and then ease up on your putt and let gravity do the work for you. And let's just go ahead and try that again, okay? And nailed that one. Let's keep going. Those moving dots on the grid are telling us that your putt is going to break to the right, so you're going to have to aim to the left to compensate. Use the aim stick to make adjustments before putting so that you can drop this one in the hole. Well, that didn't quite pan out. Let's uh, give that another go.
Nicely done. Next. All right, and I think now you're ready to tear things up on the green. And by tear things up, I mean be very respectful and do not damage the property. Seriously, though, every green can be really different to play on. Be sure you get some putting practice in on any unfamiliar courses, especially before a big event. And if you need a refresher on swing basics or more advanced shot techniques, check the other lessons available in the training menu. That's it for now, folks. See you next time. Hello and welcome to this lesson where we will talk about clubs and shot types. I am going to show you how to make the most of what's in your golf bag with a few simple tricks. Let's go. Okay, so for this shot, you're hitting into the wind. This means you are going to have to club up, or in other words, use a longer club. So let's press the change club button until you get to the pitching wedge, then just pop this shot onto the green. All right, that didn't pan out. Let's give it another go. Well, that didn't work. Let's try that one again. Great stuff out there. Let's let's move on. Now it's only a matter of time before you find yourself in a situation where the normal shot type is just not going to do. Now to get on the green from here, you are going to need a chip shot. So let's press the change shot type button until you get to the chip shot and then chip that ball nice and close to the pin with your next stroke. Not quite. Uh, let's reset. Try again. And nailed it. Let's keep moving. Information about the current lie of your ball is available always in the top right corner of the screen. This will give you a range of how much spin and power your shot will retain and then you can use that info to adjust your shot accordingly. Now for this particular situation, you're gonna to wanna to club up to the sand wedge and switch your shot type to the flop shot. Then stick this one on the green. Very well done, let us move on. Now with these few tricks under your belt, you can really take your game up a notch out there on the course. If you'd like to experiment with some different kinds of clubs, you can go over and change your equipment in the profile menu. Make sure to take the new clubs out for a rip on the driving range before you hit the course. And if you're looking for a refresher on the basics, some more advanced techniques or info on putting, check out the other lessons in our training menu. And with that, I bid you farewell. Hello there and welcome to the lesson on advanced shots. In this lesson, we're gonna learn about techniques you're gonna to wanna to master if you want to compete with the pros. Let's begin. Sometimes you'll need to make a partial swing to dial in your distance just the way you need it. In this case, your chip shot's gonna go about twice as far as the cup. Try cutting your power in half by adjusting your backswing height and follow through speed to land this one near the cup.
Uh, not quite. Let's try that one again. Not quite. Let's reset and try again. I think we've got time for another try at this one. Well done. Let's move on. Manually adjusting the loft of your shots is going to help you get that ball closer to your target. The catch here is that changing your loft also increases the difficulty of your shot. Hold the shot shaper button and press the aim stick up to increase your loft. Land this shot near the cup. Your increased loft is going to give that shot a little backspin. It's going to keep that ball from rolling off the green. Well, that was no problem. Let's keep going. Applying a fade or a draw to your shot can really open up some stroke saving shortcuts. And you guessed it, this will also increase the difficulty of your shot. Hold down the shot shaper button and press the aim stick to the left and then land this shot on the left side of the driving range. Great work, let's move on. With lots of practice, these advanced techniques are gonna to prove to be invaluable parts of your game. And if you'd like these newly discovered advanced techniques to give you even more workability, try changing your clubs in the profile menu and then test them back out here on the driving range. And lastly, if you need a refresher on the basics or some more info on stuff like putting, check out the other lessons available in the training menu. And with that, I say goodbye.
everyone, I'm Luke Elvey. Delighted to be here at TPC Scottsdale for this Q School final alongside John McCarthy. John, an absolute pleasure to be here. Well, thanks very much, Luke. It's so nice to be able to have you as part of uh, the Golf Club 2019 and especially glad to be here at TPC Scottsdale. I've never been here before. Obviously, it's a big deal for me to see a course like this and it looks like it's, it's prime for, uh, for quite an event here today. Uh, have you been down to the course? I mean, have you been looking around at this place? Because I'm in awe. Yeah, beautiful patch of land, this one. A really good testing golf course. But the superintendents, you've got to take your hat off to them. They've done an outstanding job. If a player makes a mistake, it'll be on them. Absolutely. It's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens. And I'm just, just soaking it all in down here in Scottsdale and uh, hoping for an exciting round of golf. Now, there's no golf like the Q School. Now, this is where pressure really elevates. Imagine playing for your future. Well, that's what this week's all about. Can't wait to check it out. We're going to check back in with you after nine holes and, uh, and we'll see how things are going after that. And uh, not the greatest of swings on that approach shot. Unfortunately, not enough club on that one. And about 17 feet to the cup. Ooh, unfortunate. And this for the bogey. And this putt is for double bogey. Ooh, and that was very close. Just didn't didn't drop. And this putt for triple bogey. Solid putt. And unfortunately, starting today's round off at three over. And now let's move to the second hole. And I think he will like that. And this for the birdie. Ooh, almost, almost. And this putt is for par. And in today's event, thus far, score to beat is even par. Next up is the par five. This one's looking pretty good. From here, about 230 yards to the pin. Going with the three wood. Oh. 
and not the best approach shot. You know, that shot was kind of... Uh, feet to the cup. And this one for the double. And now let's take a look at the leaderboard. I'm currently sitting at five over for the day after that hole. And now the fourth hole. And that is not bound for the dance floor. Just didn't have enough club. And to save par. And that putt will drop. And he's moving on up on the leaderboard after that hole. And he's got to like that, ladies and gentlemen. And next up is a par four, folks. This one's going to find the fairway. And he'll be happy with that. And about 18 feet to the cup. Oh, I thought that was going to go. From 15 feet. And this for the bogey. So close. And it's about a few feet from the cup. And after that, seven over par for the day. And moving on to the sixth here. It's looking like this is bound for the short stuff. Go 
going with the eight iron. And this one's looking pretty good. Nothing wrong with that. This putt's for birdie. Ooh, I thought that was gonna go. And this putt's right around two feet. And as we look at the leaderboard, our current leader today is sitting at 100. That's the score to beat. And the wind could come into play on this one. I know some others have had some issues. Let's see how this tee shot goes. And that approach is on the green, but uh, quite quite lengthy putt ahead. And for the par. And he's going to move up in the standings after that hole. Now setting up for the par four tee off. And about 165 yards to the pin. And that's not what they wanted on their approach. Yeah, about 16 feet to the cup from here. Oh, I thought that one was going to be in. This one's about two feet from the cup. And after that one, sitting at nine over. And now setting up for the par four. This is looking fairway bound. And about 105 yards to the pin. That looks like it's going long. And that'll play safely on the dance floor there. And about 17 feet left to go.
just missing here. And this putt is for par. And a nice putt there. And Luke, we head into the final stretch here at this event. What are you seeing out there? Well, John, it's looking good for them out there. If they keep playing this way, I'm pretty sure we'll see them on the web.com tour very soon. Thanks, Luke. And let's see what the 10th has in store. Well, this one's looking like it's in the fairway. Okay, about 165 yards to the pin. And going with the six iron. Pretty sure he's gonna like that one. And this for the birdie. Ooh, that was very close. Now let's take a look at the action on the leaderboard. And after that one, nine over is the score. And moving on to the 11th hole. And uh, nicely done, looking like we'll have some fairway here. And about 175 yards away here. Going with the five iron here. From 20 feet. And this one's for par. And a good putt. And he's moving in the right direction, moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. And he's gonna like that. And now we find ourselves in the 12th. Here is the pitching wedge. I think you'll like that. And from 24 feet away. Ooh, and it just, just misses. This putt's looking to be about two feet. Nine over par is the score after that hole. 
teeing off on the par five. And about 235 to the pin from here. No, I don't think they meant to do that on the approach. for the birdie. And folks, this could be the one. And that putt will drop for birdie. And after that hole, he is moving up on the leaderboard. And setting up now on the 14th tee. It's looking like it's heading into the fairway. And about 150 yards to the pin. Looks like a seven iron. Looks like this is going a bit long. Now well, looks like that one will play on the green. From here, setting up for a big 40-foot putt. And about 10 feet to go here. This putt is for the bogey. And after that one, he's uh, unfortunately going to be moving down in the standings. And now teeing off on the par five. And a promising looking shot here. And from 155 yards out. And going with the seven iron on this one. And I think this is looking a bit long. Fantastic work on this par five, hitting the green in two. And this putt is 
for birdie. Nice little putt. And currently sitting at eight strokes over par for the day. And setting up on the 16th tee. And nothing wrong with that shot. 15 feet away here. And this putt is for par. And after that one, sitting at eight over for the day. And teeing off on this par four. This one's a toss-up. Let's see where this one will land. And currently sitting at eight strokes over for the day. And as he tees off here on the final hole, he has five strokes off the lead. Let's see what happens. And this shot's looking promising. And sinking this next putt will result in a final round score of 78. Ooh, it looked close. It just didn't go. And tapping this one in to end the round with a par. And Luke, he has finished the event and he's done well enough to find a place for himself on the web.com tour. I really like the look of this player, John. I think they've got a bright future. I really feel the web.com tour is just a stepping stone to a big career. Well, that's going to do it from here. I'm Luke Elvey, and from John McCarthy, see you next time.